Hey, what's up guys? Faros here! And it's good to see you. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. Uh, hi! It's been a while. My name's Faros. I used to make Soul Calibur videos, do three to five ranked matches with live commentary and put them on the internet. But a lot's changed since then. Um... <sighs> Where to begin? First off, I think I might edit this, I might not. If not, let me know if you think I should have in the comments below. And if I did, let me know if you think it was fine. If I would have just left in the personal ums and pauses of reflection and thought. Anyway, I haven't done YouTube seriously in a long time. YouTube is where I started my content creation journey. Started playing Soul Calibur. Really, before then, I played some World of Warcraft. I played some Halo. Played a lot of things. Just started making videos of the games that I enjoyed. My first ever was a Soul Calibur 4 video, and then what really caught on was Soul Calibur 5 doing work in Soul Calibur 5. And um, that's what started me. That's what built a lot of fan base. And then I sort of transitioned into other things. When Twitch came out, I pretty much went full into Twitch. It's funny because the style that I had in my YouTube videos, this very unedited, uncut, like real me, off the cuff me style, that's all that Twitch is. So it's funny that I was sort of doing that on YouTube, where nowadays, if you see a YouTube video, whether it's a tutorial or a guide or even a playthrough, they're oftentimes very edited, very high quality, very processed, if you will, doctored up, you could say. But I always just liked doing things in one take, and it was the real thing. Whether I kicked ass or whether I got my ass kicked, it was the real experience. And that's why I transitioned so heavily into Twitch and why Twitch worked so good for me because that's all Twitch is. When you're live streaming, you don't get the luxury of going back and editing out your losses like some people do on YouTube. You don't get the luxury of going back and cutting out those things that you didn't mean you said in the moment. You gotta be good on the fly. You gotta make sure you deliver your the real you on the fly. And it's a one take kinda do your best kinda thing. And that's all, man, I got so, I've been so addicted to Twitch because of that, because it just feels so perfect for me. And around the time I really, well, really my YouTube declined when I got a full-time job and moved out of my dad's house. <laughs> but when I went back to making content on the internet again, it's pretty much all Twitch. And it's been that way for years now. For those of you who don't know, I started full-time Twitch streaming in October of 2016. Before then, I casually streamed for a while, a year or two, three maybe, but I started full-time streaming October in 2016, um, had a falling out with the job I was doing, and started full-time streaming six days a week, 40 plus hours a week, plus some stuff behind the scenes, and I've been doing it ever since, and I've found a passion for Final Fantasy 14, it's an MMORPG like World of Warcraft except Final Fantasy. I play the Samurai, I play the Mitsurugi of Final Fantasy 14, man, and I absolutely love the game. And I'm saying all this because I feel like I haven't taken the time to just explain it to all you guys in a, in a vlog. Like, I feel like I'm so disconnected from my YouTube that I've just put everything out there on Twitch. And while a lot of people probably watch the Twitch and know all this already, there's probably some people who don't. I'm just full into Final Fantasy XIV. I play it live 40 hours a week, straight up. If you were ever thinking like, man, whatever happened to that Faros guy? There will be a link in the description below of this video. Twitch.tv slash Faros. Every day, Monday through Friday, in between the hours of 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. United States Central Time. And normally one day on the weekends, which I'm trying to iron out to every Saturday now. In the afternoons. I'm live playing Final Fantasy XIV. I got two characters max level. I work on raiding on two different characters. There's a new expansion for that game coming out um, this summer, summer 2019, probably around June. And I've got a lot, like a new patch just hit this Tuesday. I got a whole lot to do right now on both my characters, a whole lot to get done. And then I got a lot of big plans for the next expansion. 
So I would love to see you guys over there for it. If you dig MMORPGs at all, or if you dig watching Final Fantasy games at all, or if you just dig the positive vibes and the energy and you want to hang out with someone, twitch.tv slash virus is the way to do it. That being said, we're not too long into January, and there was a lot of goals I set for myself for 2019, one of which is to try to kick back off my YouTube channel. Now, the reason I'm making this vlog is sort of an introduction to things that I want to do this year and an introduction to where I'm at, where my head's at, so you guys sort of understand the videos that are going to follow. For example, a lot of it's going to be highlights of the Twitch channel. So what I mean by that is, so the Final Fantasy servers were down on Monday of this week, and you know what I did? I have this Final Fantasy XIV lore book. Encyclopedia Eorzea. Eorzea is the name of the game world. Where you can flip to a page and it'll tell you some of the game's history. Maybe give you a description of some of the types of monsters in the game or something like that. And this is a book that not a lot of people have, I think. Uh, so I did a public reading of just the first 30 pages on Monday of this week. I'm going to take that VOD from Twitch and I'm going to upload it on the YouTube channel for people to go back and watch. If, the, if they ever want to watch in form of a YouTube video. And I'll probably do that a lot. I'll probably make a whole playlist out of these readings. Also, I want to start uploading if I ever have a good fight. Like a good uh, amount of DPS I did on a raid boss. I'll probably upload a clip of that. If I get the time to edit any guides or anything... I'll upload those to my YouTube channel. It's going to be pretty much all Final Fantasy XIV oriented. Um, with the exception of maybe some events I do with my new Twitch team that just got off the ground also this Tuesday named Team True. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, let you know what I'm doing, where I'm at, what I'm planning on doing with the YouTube, and let you know I haven't forgotten about you guys, and I do want to restart my YouTube channel, although it's going to be heavily Final Fantasy XIV focused with a side of me. <laughs> it's gonna be, I'll be doing everything in the game, but it's gonna be mostly Final Fantasy XIV gameplay with maybe some Faros vlogs mixed here and there. If you guys have any ideas of content that you would like to see, whether it be Final Fantasy XIV related or just me related, let me know in the comment section below. If you're excited to see something like this, let me know. If not, I'm sorry. I know that YouTube isn't what it once was, but I pour almost all my energy, my time, and my passion, and my love into my Twitch channel. And I'm gonna try, while I'm gonna try to kick back up my YouTube, it's gonna mostly be clips and stuff catered to like supplement the Twitch channel than it is gonna be like, I don't know. It's not gonna be the best like standalone YouTube channel, if that makes sense. Anyway, wanted to touch base with you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up here right around the eight minute mark. Thank you very much for listening to me talk for eight minutes. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, leave them down there. I'll be looking through them all. And if you've been here since the beginning, man, thanks for sticking around. I'm out for now. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to upload the first reading of this tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Have a good one, guys. Take care. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>